Back, Judge. Bad day out there, a good day for Bond Court, I guess. Domestic battery by strangulation, Jacqueline. She had North Broward, Judge. Jacqueline Cahan, K A H A N. North Broward. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Ms. Cahan, you are charged with domestic battery by strangulation. I've read the probable cause affidavit. Find probable cause to believe you may have committed the offense to which you're charged. It relates to the choking of an ant. This is a serious charge. Does she have any prior record? Just uh, I see a trespass from uh, Jacksonville in May of this year. Because of the serious nature of the offense in this case, ma'am, I set your bond at $5,000. I order, should you make this bond under no circumstances, are you to have any contact nor return to the address uh, at Northwest Second Court where this occurred and to have any contact with a Joann, K-A-H-A-N. Do you understand the terms of release, ma'am? Okay. Good luck, ma'am. Jerome Moreland. Is there, is there anyone present on this case? President and approaching court? at the lectern, Judge. Your Honor, if we could put this case on the recall. Um, uh, judge, I would ask the court not to put the case on recall because it's hard for him to get around in that wheelchair. Well, is there, someone coming? That's why my the victim advocate who's on her way to court informed me she spoke to the victim who was going to be coming to court, Your Honor. Sorry, Mr. Miller, he needs to have a seat. I'm going to let the victim All right. Over. Can you back up over there? Yes. Can you back up over there? Uh, here, Jimmy McCallister. All right, we'll keep him here. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Jimmy McCallister, come on up, Jimmy. Thank you. Come on up. Judge wants to talk to you, Jimmy. President, the main judge. Thank you, Mr. Miller. All right, Mr. Miller, uh, Mr. McCallister, you're charged with uh, touching or striking a simple battery related to the scratching of a Brian Reynolds against his will. There's probable cause based on the affidavit. Does he have any record? One moment, Your Honor. I'm showing trespass out of Tallahassee from 2012. That's all, Judge. Thank you. Sir, in your case, I'm setting your bond at $500, the lowest I'll set on a battery charge. Um, you are ordered not to have any contact with the alleged victim, Brian Reynolds, or go near his residence at Inverary Boulevard while this case is pending. Do you understand? Carissa? Carissa? Yes. Good luck to you, sir. Marissa Celestro. Bonded judge. Uh, judge, Ms. Jones is present in the main jail, but Mr. McLawrence is on his way back to where you are, I think. Okay, is this a... Uh, put this uh, on recall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is MO? All right, I'll yeah. hold that for your mode. Just have a seat there, ma'am. Yeah. Tammy? Can we check on her record, please? Uh, yes, sure. Tammy uh, Daughtery, you're in charge with DUI alcohol and drugs first offense and DUI with property damage uh, as a result of the accident. Give me one second. Decl decline PD, Judge. Thank you. You stay here. Talk to him. If he has any questions, he's just going to ask you about your ties with community. Okay? Our mm -hmm. PC advises that you failed the first sobriety test. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, I don't see anything in here. Somebody is looking at this with me about the property damage. Your Honor, it says. I put multiple it says for further details of the traffic ca crash reference uh, to Deputy Rigoliza's traffic crash report. It says he made contact with the passenger of the second vehicle, Nara Petrosi, and he provided a sworn statement indicating that Doherty was driving the listed Nissan and was the sole occupant of the vehicle. Uh, it does mention that there was a crash, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Thank you. I don't see anything about June 12th. Yeah, no, it's just it's just listing that there was a crash, Your Honor, involving her vehicle. No, it's, I, Your Honor, I didn't see anything of damage over a thousand because. Gabriel. Yes. It just said property. This is property damage from a crash. 
Mr. Anthony? Can you be charged with that if it's over your vehicle? No, no, it's, Your Honor, it lists a sec list second. Uh, so I'm waiting, I'm if you look at the second page, Your Honor. You're right, the second vehicle. What page is the wall? All right. Well, Does she have a record? Uh, no, Your Honor. Do you work, ma'am? No, sir. Who do you live with? Who bought it? Myself. I just got divorced. Okay, cool. How long have you lived in Broward County? Um, since 1984. Your bond in count one is $500, and your bond in count two is $500. We'll have to post those bonds and see the judge, ma'am. Good luck to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Judge. Stacy Phillips. North Broward, Judge. You're charged under a uh, North Broward. prostitution case. No, she's a uh, M.O. Have you charged under a prostitution case under the previous capious for your arrest? Judge, is this a case? The court will be inclined to resolve. Ma'am, do you want to? Can I ask, Judge? Ma'am, is this something you would like to resolve, or you, you're more than you can fight your case too? I'd like to resolve it. How long you lived in Broward County, ma'am? My whole life. You work? I do. Where? Yes. Where? A pizza place by my home. I just started the job. Capius was issued in way back in 14. Do you ever reside at 599 Northwest 40th Court? Yes, in Oakland Park. All right, that's where the notice went to. For some reason, you didn't show up. Any record on that? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, 592 yeah. 963. Who were all those young folks who came in to see me? Pretty small faces back there. Okay. Uh, just the prostitute. Just, out of Broward, I just hear prostitution from 2013. All right, ma'am, if you wish to resolve this case, I'll allow you to plead no contest to the charge of prostitution. Uh, I will send you the time served, but you will have to pay the court costs in this case. You wish to do that? I do. All right, I'll plead of no contest. I'll accept a plea of no contest to these charges. Send you the time served with court costs. Good luck to you, ma'am. Is the court, 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 court withholding adjudication? Holding adjudication. We can go back. Uh, go sir. You gotta pay the court costs. They're two hundred ninety-three dollars. Don't forget her. They'll arrest you again. Yes. We, okay. Uh, what'd you say, uh, Bob? I was asking if the court was withholding adjudication. I am withholding adjudication. You can go back to Moreland when it pleases the court. Moreland. You're done. All right, um, Mr. Miller. Uh, we would like to call Jerome Moreland back then, if we could. Apparently, we have a question. Yes, sir. He is present, Judge. Yeah, I'm gonna pick him up tonight. All right, Mr. Moreland, keep your seat there. You are here before me on a KBS or an arrest warrant touching a no, I during a domestic battery and a violation of an injunction for protection. There's someone in the courtroom here. All right, raise your right hand, ma'am. Swear for me testimony. You're about to give me the truth. All truth, not the truth. Yes, sir. Tell me your name. Starla Summer Ray Edwards. Edwards? How did you fit into this case, ma'am? Don't tell me anything about what happened. Just tell me how you fit into this case. I'm the defendant's girlfriend. Ex All right, I'm not here to decide whether anybody did anything. I'm here to decide if there are conditions for release, and if so, what they are. So with respect to that, anything you want to tell me? Can you repeat that, please? Yes, ma'am. I'm not here to decide whether he did or didn't do the things that he's been charged with. I can't resolve that under any circumstances. I'm only here to decide whether he should be released, and if so, the terms of his release. So if you want to speak to that, I'm happy to hear anything you want me to know about that. Your Honor, I don't think he should be released. Okay. Jerome needs help. Okay. Are you in fear of him? Yes. Okay. We'll take that into consideration. And so are my children. Do you have a uh, restraining order against him? I have to get one right now, uh, down the hall. It's, Your Honor, this stems from a no contact order. Your Honor, Mr. Moreland was arrested just on July 9th. And he went before Judge Rabalo on uh, the 10th. And Judge Rabalo gave a $2,500 bond in order to have ordered him to have no contact with uh, Ms. Edwards. And now we here we are, less than a week later, and not only is he allegedly violating the no contact order, 
but violating with an act of violence against uh, uh, Ms. Edwards. I don't know if there are any release conditions, Your Honor, that can ensure her safety from uh, Mr. Moreland. Additionally, Your Honor, his other prior, 2010, he was convicted of strong arm robbery and sentenced to four years state prison. All right. Um, well, the first count is a touching or striking is, is a misdemeanor battery, correct? Yes, it is, Judge. Well, I've said it bond commensurate with the crime. Oh, oh, yeah. No, Your Honor, he's entitled to, he cannot be held up on these charges. The issue is the uh, pending case. Okay. The pending case, you claim, you say that he already has a case in front of Judge Rabolo. No, no, no. He appeared before Judge Rabolo on Monday. Right. And was ordered for battery against the same alleged victim in order not to have any contact with was her. It the same battery that, he's, that I have on this? No, that was a different battery. Okay. And uh, what is the case number on that? 157332MM10A. All right, and he's got a bond in that case? A $2,500 bond. I'm revoking his bond in that case. In case number 157332MM10A, I'm revoking your bond, sir. In the touching or striking on the... Uh, uh, battery case here. I am setting a bond of a thousand dollars on that one. On the violation of a, the uh, no contact order by Judge Rabolo, I'm setting a bond of fifty thousand dollars, and I'm ordering a level one GPS on you. You are prohibited from leaving your residence, uh, and also you are prohibited from having any contact whatsoever, as per the previous order, with the alleged victim in this case, who is. Daria Summer K. Edwards. Do you understand my order, sir? You cannot have any contact yes. with her under any circumstances. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. He'll be ordered on a level one monitor. He cannot leave his house on a GPS. His bond is 50000 on the violation. Sir, he resides with me. His belongings are with me, so he has nowhere to go. And we'll, we'll explain to her, Your Honor, how it's going to work. They'll have to work this through the police. He can't come to your house. He can get your belongings there, but with a police officer present, they'll explain all that to you. If you go down to domestic violence, get a restraining order, which is your desire, they'll explain that to you as well. His bond is $50,000 on the case for violating the injunction, and he is ordered to stay in the residence. If it's... If it's your residence, you can stay there. What is? Good luck to you, sir. Have a good day. And Judge, I'm Your Honor, we're both down the other case. Yes, okay. Judge, I got a call from North Broward Jail, and there's somebody there requesting to take out an order. Richard Wilson. It is a municipal ordinance case. All right, man. Go to the best house. Uh, Mr. Right. Lawrence is here. All right. What, what's his name? Hello, Your Richard Honor. Wilson. Hang yeah. tight, Mr. Wilson. I gotta get your paperwork. Sir. Okay. That's okay. Take your time. You're not going anywhere, is that what you're saying? Richard Wilson, is that yeah. true? Yes, sir, yeah. that's correct. This is a uh, municipal case. Yes. Yes. I was having a few beers with some sublime at the beach, as usual. And we all love Bradley. Can you check his record, Your Honor, Mr. Wilson. Uh, well, Judge, if you appoint me, he's here on an open you. container. I'm to represent Mr. Richard Wilson so we can try to make a disposition. Mr. Wilson, uh, I'm appointing the, the lawyer in the courtroom, Mr. McLawrence, to represent you for purposes of this hearing and all other purposes, sir. And I'm going to see if I can resolve this case. It's going to depend on what your previous violations might be. Oh, Your Honor, just is like this a municipal ordinance? Is I, a minute? Do you have any criminal record on him at all? Your Honor, he's been, yes, I, I'm familiar with uh, Mr. Wilson. He's been through here many times. Uh, he's I'm just, I'm showing. I haven't been back in over a year and a half. Well, it's not quite, but yeah. since. Is the prosecutor here, Mr. McLaughlin? No, I sent him a text to judge. I'm waiting for his response. He's still. Your Honor, I haven't been back in over a year. Okay, what are we doing, Judge? It's just a little mishap. I got caught with the container. I'd, like, I'd just like to clear it up today. No contest. Uh, 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 guilty to this charge. Sentence him to three days in the county jail. Judge, that sounds fine. I just, I just don't know if there's anything that we can do to ensure that he's um, competent to accept that, um, to accept that offer, Judge. That's my only concern. Do you understand what's when? going on, Mr. Wilson? 
What is the deal? It, it'll be essentially a time served sentence. No, no. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's just wrap three it up. Thank you. And I'll say hi to all your friends at the quarter deck. Three days county jail. It, it'll, be, it'll be three days county jail, Mr. Wilson. Yes. And I will work for you. I'm going to accept the police. Three days county jail, Deputy. You can take him away. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. With credit for time, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Judge, there are a few other MOs. Are you just calling through the docket, or are you going to call those? I'll get your cases out of the way. These people have been waiting all day. Okay. Uh, do you know which cases they are? Yes, Your Honor. All right, tell me. There's Valencia James. She's in North Broward. Valencia James. Hang on, let's do one at a time. Docket is in there. Does anybody have her on the docket or a page or anywhere? I can't find her paperwork. No. Where is she, North Broward? That's, that's what I have. I had that she was in North Broward. North Broward deputies, do you have a Valencia James there? Well, we do not, Your Honor. Is that Paul Ryan? Paul Ryan. Are you Valencia James? Jacobs? Jacobs? Yes, sir. Is Valencia Jacobs? She was here this morning? No, no, she was here. No, sir, I was not here this morning. Oh. So, Faisal, is this? I don't know. Okay. No. I'm talking about Valencia James. I, she, I, I know that's what she said. You're asking about James. Right, right? Valencia James, yes. yes. That she's going to be on the dock a little bit later in the dock, Your Honor. Okay. Oh. Val Valencia, we don't have her or her paperwork, Mr. Right. McLaurin. So I'm showing she's at North Broward. That's what I showed her as, as well. And the only other problem is here. Can I show you real quick? I'll come get it from you. Show me what's the yeah. next case you've got, Mr. Um, I have Catterill Ring, and um, he's in main jail, Judge. What's the last name? Ring, W R I N G. Exactly. Just being held up on our knees. Well, I just okay. want to... Hey, Judge, I got a little bit of an update. May I briefly use the restroom? Valencia James is a medical reset from this morning. Okay, thank you. But, but, John, if you want to just... I mean, there's really nothing ring. that can be done on it anyways, right? Do you want to just have a... He's ringing the main jail. Uh, oh, that was a reset. Oh, no, this is no, Mr. Ring is ring, present and this is very right excited about resolving the right, case. Right, Mr. Ring, I'm Eric. appointing Mr. McLaurin for all purposes to represent you in this case. You're charged with three municipal ordinances. They are for trespass, resisting without violence, and it looks like disorderly intoxication. I find probable cause in all three cases. What kind of uh, the state is it here, obviously? Well. If, you, if, you, if there's any information the court wants, I can provide that. Uh, let me just get a rundown on his priors the last couple of years. Okay, do you uh, have a BCCN number, Judge? Yes, uh, I do, and it is 778-795. Okay. As far as state priors uh, in Broward, the most recent I see is the possession of marijuana in 2012. It's all drug priors. All right, sir, in this case, uh, should you wish to plead guilty to these three offenses, I will accept the plea of guilty and sentence you to three days in the county jail with the proviso that you do not return to the Cheers location where they claim you are bothering the customers. Do you wish to do that, or do you want to set a bond and you can see the judge? I'll take the three days, Your Honor. All right, you're going to promise not to go back to this Cheers location? Yes, sir. All right, so upon your guilty plea, then on all three cases, I'll send you to three days county jail. Do the proviso you don't go back to Cheers. Thank you. Good luck. Judge, while, while we're in the main jail, we also have Taiwan uh, Irvin. Taiwan Irvin, okay. Yes, and he's charged with a municipal ordinance trespass. He's in the main jail. And I don't have paperwork on him either. Unless it's in the I think it was reset from this morning. I'm not sure. No, I, I got, I got Miss Jones, Judge. You want her? Uh, right, Tyron Irvin. Oh yeah, Jones, this was in the afternoon docket. Yeah, we, I got Tyron Irvin. Can you get her deal? 
It's Ty Urban. Ty Juan Urban is right there. He's right there, Judge. That's Portland. All right. Good morning, Mr. Can you hear, ma'am, for him? Yes, yes, sir. How do you, you relate to him? Relate I'm to his mother. mother. All right, ma'am. Give me just a second to look at his paperwork. This is under an active warrant. You call the suppress package. This will face Mr. State Attorney Hopkins. Your, yeah, I got Your Honor, uh, and I'm not seeing anything since 2012, Your Honor. In Broward, at least. Did he reside with you, ma'am? Sir? Did he reside with you? Yeah, off and on. He was. Um, I'm here to ask for help for my son. Okay. I'm requesting that they keep him if they can, because he's on Flocker and he's not my son. And, um, I'm trying to get him some help before he kill himself or someone kill him. And if they want to, they can drug test him, but he's been stealing from his grandfather. <coughs> he's been running the streets. No, no, no. He's not taking care of himself. He's lost about 40 pounds. And that's my son. I'm trying to get him some help. So I'm not burning him out. And I'm wishing that they could keep him here to get him some help because I love him. And he has a daughter that's waiting on him. You listed all this, Mr. Uh, Urban? Yes, sir. Causing a lot of turmoil for your family with these drugs, sir. If you're having a drug problem, you need to address it and get it fixed. All right, uh, yes, sir. I'm going to order a drug test on him, a drug screen in the jail. I'm going to uh, keep his bond to $250 and see if we can get him some help in the county. Please, thank you all so much. All right, good luck. And I thank the officers for kept, keep picking him up because I've been praying for this. Thank you. Uh, order a drug screen for him, Mr. Miller, and uh, leave the bond where it is and see if the county court can offer him some services. Uh, uh, Mr. McWarren, you may want to ask the judge to sign a SAP order for him. All right. Well, that's um, Mr. Mr. Irvin, while you're in custody, would you like to enter uh, the um, SAP program, the drug program? No. No? Okay, thank you, Judge. Good luck. Off you go. Just gotta want it. There's just one more person in the room. Irvin! Yeah, he'll get a court date in county court. You'll have to go to court then and see the judge. Because he's no one's going to make this bond for him, so he'll still be in jail. Just make sure you keep track of his court dates and let the judges know because we can't keep everybody in jail for trespassing. It's a problem. How would I know his court date? You have to keep in touch with the clerk of the court. Call, give the case number, say, uh, or you can look in the computers over there. Just keep track of him as to when he has court appearances. Uh, what's your next case, Mr. McLawrence? Maricela Jones. She's also in the main jail, Judge. Good luck to you, ma'am. Maricela Jones. Okay. I got that one next. Uh, she's in the main jail. Dale? Uh, Maricela Jones? Do you need me? Ms. Jones is present at the main, Judge. All right, hang on there, buddy. I'm going to help this deputy here. Okay, good luck, Ms. Jones. Good luck. What do you mean, right here? Right, stay right there, your attorney. The lower right hand screen. That's the judge on the top. You need to what? Okay. He's gonna help you and you're gonna probably resolve your case today. Okay. okay. Good luck. Maricela Jones, you're here on yes, sir. Good morning. You're here on Good morning. Campus. You're charged with panhandling. Probably not appearing in court and solicitation or displays. Any uh, state record on her, sir? She has no history in Broward, Your Honor. All right, ma'am. Um, I'm going to appoint Mr. McLarch to represent you in this case, and I'm going to offer you the following. I'm going to offer you a plea of no contest to this charge since you have no prior record and a uh, disposition of time served so long as you stay out of the street and quit bothering the public with this, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Never so what you want to do? He asked you if that's what you want to do, Ms. Jones. 
I can't want, hear you. You want to accept a time served sentence? Okay. You want to accept the time served sentence? Yes, I do. All right, time served. Uh, no contest. A plea on that. And, uh, that's the end of that. What else? Judge, we also have Miguel Silva, and it looks like he's in North yeah, Broward as well. Or he's in North Broward. North. Thank you. Miguel Silva, you're charged with municipal ordinance. Then appoint Mr. McLarge to represent you for all purposes during this case. You are charged with disorderly intoxication, Judge. Disorderly intoxication. I didn't talk to anybody. How much does he have on his record? One moment, Judge. Well, this one's got a little bit of a twist to it. The defendant uh, was in a group of people. Jogged over to a bench, struck the bench file while screaming at persons. Persons on the bench. Uh... Very well. Sad. Uh, <clears throat> Your Honor, he's had older priors out of New York. Uh, nothing recently in Broward. I'll accept the plea of guilty to the charge on this municipal ordinance of. What was it, public intoxication? Disorderly intoxication. Disorderly Judge. intoxication with a with a sentence of time served with the proviso that you stay out of this Hyzinga Plaza and quit bothering the patrons over there. Do you wish to do that? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to come by there and see if you're there. <laughs> Good luck, sir. <laughs> uh, yes. What's the next case? Judge, we have um, Stephen Maliani. Mali, Mali, and Mali, North Broward. Near. North Broward. Malinati's North. Get in there. Oh, no. You're best behavior, Stephen. All right, I have Stephen Malinati. Trespassing after warning. I <laughs> don't remember any of that, do you? <laughs> Refusing to leave a medical center, sir. This is not good. Used a lot of bad words. It was very, very, uh, very, very uh, impolite and misbehaved, so I can see from this PC. On the charge, I find probable cause. How much of a record does he have? Yeah, Your Honor, he's been a bit of a, an issue. This is his 12th arrest in just over the last year, his fourth arrest since June 8th of this year. Are those all for municipal ordinance violations? Pretty much. All right, sir, your case is different than the others based on your prior record. I will either set the bond at $25 and you can post the bond and see the judge. If not, based on your prior history, since you're not learning, I will offer you a plea of guilty to the charge of trespassing after warning and you can serve 20 days in the county jail. Which of those you wish to do? I will serve the 20 days in the county jail, Your Honor. All right, based on a plea of guilty to trespassing after warning, I'm appointing Mr. McLaurin to represent you in that case. And you are sentenced to 20 days uh, with a guilty plea on trespassing after warning. You really have to stay out of trouble, Mr. Malinari. You're just going to still get in jail all the time, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Good luck to you, sir. What else you got, Mr. Malinari? We have Richard Wilson in the north. Uh, it looks like he's in North Broward as well. Took care of that? I did him. Okay. We have um, Raul Lopez. Uh, he might also be in North Broward. Raul Lopez? Anybody know where he's at? North. Thank you. Lopez? I'm there. you're charged with petty theft. He's not, he's not up here, Judge. Six Point Federal Highway, Valentino. Pretty fancy place. All right, sir, you're charged with petty theft, taking food from a uh, establishment without paying. There's probable cause in your case. Does he have much of a record, Mr. State Attorney? Uh, one, one moment, Your Honor. Judge, do you have his BCCN number? I'm sorry. Yes, it's 854-883. Uh, no, no, he has no prior priors. You work, sir? Do you work, Mr. Uh, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Okay, do you work? Yes, I work in Venezuela as a radio host. I don't know why somebody's working and is not paying for their food. 
Sir, if you wish to uh, plead guilty to the charge of petty, petty theft, excuse me, he has no record. Ple uh, I'll None take a Browers. no contest plea to petty theft, sentence you to time served. If you wish to do that, or I'll set the bond at $25 and you can see the judge. Judge, I only have one request. Given that the um, the possible enhancements for any future petty thefts, Your Honor, not that I expect Mr. Lopez to get any future pe petty thefts, but I was going to ask if the court would um, uh, provide him with a withhold, take judicial notice of his time served, and assess court costs. Well, let the, all of those I agree to do. Thank you, Judge. You want to do that, sir? Do you understand what you're doing here? No. Okay. I'm going to withhold the judicial notice. The, the judge will not convict you, and you will get out of jail today. To complain? Okay. Okay. Victim that plea of adjudication. You are going to have to pay the court costs in this case, sir. You have to pay the court costs. It's your responsibility. How much? How much is it? Thirty-eight dollars, right? Okay. You pay that. If you forget to pay it, they'll arrest you again. Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck to you, sir. You'll be released. Stay out of trouble. Judge, just just one more. I want to go back on Valencia James. I know she's not on the docket, but I was informed that she has um. She was medically reset, and she also has a pending violation of probation, so she won't be able to resolve her municipal ordinance matter anyway, but I was going to request that the, if uh, the court is so inclined, the court appoint me so I could get I'll working on her day, case. Sir. Thank you, Aaron. Well, do um, Valencia James. Do you, John, do you want to just go to the division? Yeah. We'll be talking about resetting it. Oh, oh, no, Judge, if you if you just set it to her division, that's fine. She doesn't have to be reset okay, because we're I'll not going to be able to resolve it here it. anyway. Um, I'll, I'll come to I'll give you the case number. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all. Sir, have a good day. Judge, do you want to wrap up the next three uh, municipal ordinance violations? I spoke with the city prosecutor of Hollywood. Uh, and you are? I'm the city attorney for the city of Hollywood, Judge, also Pompano Beach. And your name Stephen is? Shape. Stephen Shape, thank you. And which cases, sir? Judge, the first one would be Candace McNelly. It's a Hollywood and loitering case. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw her this morning. Good. City of Hollywood's offered time served, Judge. Thank you. Candace McNelly, are you there? She had her paperwork earlier. I she was here this morning. But I don't see her paperwork on Judge, she was at Maine this morning, right. um, but right. she's not right. here now. She's not there now? No. The, All right, I'll see if we uh, can McNally. Okay. I'll see if we can get her back somehow. Um, judge, I think you, I'm sorry, Judge, I think you already resolved this one. Think I did? Simple enough. I, I, my notes say that you resolved it, I'm sorry, resolved it to a withholding court cost. That's fine. No problem, Judge. Thank you, sir. The next matter, Judge, would be Jennifer Hinkle. It's an open container coming out of Pompano Beach. I think I North heard. Broward, Judge. I got her. North Broward, Jennifer Hinkle. I have the city attorney here. You're charged right here. with open container. Sorry, Miss Hinkle. I have the city attorney. You're charged with open container. There's probable cause. You've got a lot of arrests here. Let's see what the city has to say. So if they'd offer, the city of Pompano would offer um, time served. All right. Uh, do you want to plead guilty to the municipal offense because of your lengthy record of an open container violation, ma'am, and agree to a sentence of time served? I plead no contest, no like time served, please. Oh. All right, well, I'm not accepting a Any no time. contest, yeah. so you can accept a guilty or you can go to court, whatever you want to do. Guilty, I, already... I mean, and right. then um, I, I plead, excuse me, <laughs> so sorry, it's hard to understand. If I plead guilty, I can also receive time served and be released today? Correct. Yes, ma'am, assuming you don't have any other charges. All right, that sounds good to me. We're happy, we're happy to serve, ma'am. Guilty plea, guilty. you'll be released today. Good luck, ma'am. Stay out of trouble, right. please. Thank you. Stay I try. And, Judge, the last matter that uh, I would handle would be Randolph Jones. Should be the main jail. And that was an open container from the city of Hollywood. I still got four more of these. Um, <clears throat> Jones is at North Broward, Your Honor. Oh, North Broward. Okay. All right, you're on the KPS. Open container violation. You want to resolve your case, sir? Uh, well, Your Honor, I was told when I came to see the judge about that case, he, he was dismissing the case 
because I had a million myself in a uh, AA program, and I brought a letter to him at that time, and uh, I seen it all for it, and I don't know why I came back up. I think it was in 2013. It's been a KPS out, outstanding for the last two years, Judge. Right. He's saying somehow they resolved that KPS in another case. He's also got a Leon County hold here for violation of probation. He's not going anywhere. Judge, if you could all arm on this, and I'll look into seeing whether or not that Leon County hold is based on this new arrest. Hopefully not. It's a, uh, it's a BOP no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's not. I don't, look, I don't think, but I can't tell. No, right, no, I'm going to ROR you on this case, sir. I'm going to release you on the armor comments, but there's a hold out of Leon County, County for you, sir. So yep. They may yep. take you yes, back. Yes, sir. All yeah, right. yes, yes, sir. I understand that. Thank you. All right, tomorrow, all right. That doesn't mean I'm dismissing it. It means you may have to come back, but right now you're being released, okay? Okay. Well, you're not being released, but you're being sent to Leon County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you. I got you. All right, good luck. Thank luck. you, Judge. I think that's all I have. I have three others here David Archer, Ariel Hernandez, Harry Lee Brooks. And um, what cities are well, they coming from? Archer is the only. Brooks is, Your Honor, Brooks is a reset. Archer. <clears throat> does have a, has a municipal ordinance charge and a state charge, but the municipal ordinance charge is out of Oakland Park. Yeah, okay. We don't do Oakland Park. Judge Ariel Hernandez is mine. Yeah, that's a felony. That's a felony case. You just, Judge, with the court ROR on the Oakland Park case, they don't they don't appoint counsel, and that's that's been an issue on the the previous case. Oh, you case case already already for lack of Oakland prosecution. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. no. Judge, there's no bond attached to it. Wait a minute, Mr. Miller. Judge. You could dismiss the case for lack of prosecution if you wanted to. He's gone and so is the lawyer. What's that? He's gone and so is the lawyer. <laughs> uh, Judge, if I can... Your Honor, Ariel Hernandez is at Conti. All right, I have a Ms. young lady Ms. here in the courtroom. Uh, Dale, one second. Right, Ms. Haston is here. She's the last female in my oh, okay. room. I think they want right, to get rid of let's her. Let's do her, her then. What is her name? Haston, Natalie. I think Ms. Tolley sitting in the front row. Yes. Hernandez. Good afternoon, Your Honor. We addressed Natalie Haston this morning. We entered into the agreed order with the uh, prosecutor. Oh, you haven't gone yet? Sure, I'm hoping keep it in the tape. What can we do to get that paperwork for us? I was giving this file right from the office and the paperwork is sitting on I'm sorry, I think you've got paperwork? Yeah, it's the code of the case. I don't remember his name. Is that her? Yes, Your Honor, that's her. All right, you're not just reading. She can still post bond without this court because I believe the bonds have already been set. We were only just coming to this for the magistrate finding, but the bonds have been set, which they have been. She can still post bond, Your Honor, if she doesn't get out of time by tomorrow morning. Different pieces. This paper will be on the docket. Okay. Is that a short order that changed the bond? Yes. I'm yes. finding her probable probable cause in her case is setting the bonds 5,000, 5,000, and 5,000. That's what you have? Yes. Plus and free trial release. Free trial release. And she was ordered to uh, surrender a passport in this case? That is yes. correct, Your Honor. All right. So she has been magistrated. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thanks for staying around. Okay. All right. Um, now, you, counsel. Yes. Your bonds have been set and your lawyer has left, so they'll talk to you further in the jail, ma'am. Good luck. All right, ma'am, your name Judge, is? Judge uh, Zolka Bazanik on behalf of Ariel Hernandez. He is in Conti. Conti. Ariel Hernandez, right? Judge, it was a reset from this morning. Right, I got it in my hands. All right, that, I remember him. All right, Mr. Hernandez, your lawyer is now here. Uh, you're charged with three additional cases. Uh, larceny, $50,000 or more from a person 65 or older. Uh, fraud uh, with uh, using the ID of someone without their consent and illegal use of a credit card more than two times. I think I already read this this morning and found probable cause based on the arrest warrant. Judge, the only yes, ma'am. The only thing I would ask is he already has a bond of five hundred fifty thousand dollars. Same charges, different victims. It's in front of Judge Ames. This is an additional victim that they just added charges to. Uh, the only thing I would ask the court is to lower the bond five fifty is already excessive enough. I'm asking that the court lowers this to 10, 10, and 10 on each count. Your, Your Honor, uh, what I'd be asking, Judge 
uh, Haynes already reduced the bond to 550. The issue is there's because I'm going to be also asking that all the special conditions be kept in place. For instance, the Nebby requirement, and with the Nebby requirement, he can't be released anyways until Judge Haynes signs off on it. That being the case, I think it would be better, more uh, for judicial economy to let Judge Haynes make not only the uh, Nebia dis determination, but also here if the, any uh, defense argument to reduce the bond. That way the victims can be present also, anything they want the court to hear. This involves a, a large amount of uh, money, Your Honor, that was allegedly stolen. And Judge, there are Nebia requirements in the first bond anyway, and he's not able to post it at this time, so he's not going anywhere even if your honor reduces the charges it's just that there was a hearing to reduce the bond and judge ames thought that five hundred fifty thousand dollar bond was sufficient enough to secure his presence there were also additional conditions such as the electronic monitoring um and the nebia so and and i don't know that J judge james was aware of these allegations at that time all i'm saying is how would it hurt to uh, give the uh, alleged victim an opportunity to be heard also since he can't be prejudiced he can't get out anyways Judge, the victim is another 80-year-old something, over 80 years old uh, lady who I doubt that she would come to court. I spoke to the prosecutor in this case, Mr. Sherman. He, uh, They basically just finished the investigation uh, and were able to find this fourth victim. Um, it really won't make a big difference in any case. He's not going to... If I reduce the bond, it'd be to 75000 It's not going to help him substantially anyway. It's not. Uh, keep the bonds in place. I appreciate your passion, ma'am. The bonds will stay where they are. I find probable cause on all three cases. Count one, the bond is 100. Count two and three, uh, excuse me, count seven is 100. Eight and nine, it's 10 10. You'll have to go see Judge Davis. Okay. And Thank you, Judge. For, just for the record, the court is uh, imposing all the special conditions all the special that Judge Porter... conditions that are in place from Judge Hames that are previously it's ordered. Judge, Judge Porter said them. Judge, uh, that Judge Porter said, yes. Thank, Thank you, Judge. Thank you for resetting, Judge. Ariel, I'll see you in jail. You're done. Okay. All right, where are we? We still going along here? Making progress? Are you folks here on cases? Come yes, on up here, ma'am. Step on up. You speak English? Yes, yes, yes. Right. What's your name? Linda Boucher. Who are you here on? Uh, I'm the mother of uh, Michael Roy, R O Y. Michael Roy, Michael Roy. Yes. Know where he is. <coughs> Uh, Maine, it told me Maine. Michael Roy there, Dale? Yes, President of the Maine, Judge. I have his mother here. He's uh, yeah. page 13 of your docket, Judge. All right, Mr. Roy, you are charged with possession of Elizabeth, possession of cannabis, and possession of drug here today. Give me a second. Your brother is here in the court. Yes. Don't lean on my stand up. Your Honor. Right, there's probable cause uh, for sure. I mean, they implicate you in having the drug. They're found on you, and they're tested positive. All right, ma'am, again, I'm not here to decide whether he did this or not. That's not my job. My job is to decide Sammy. any conditions of release. So I'll get you to raise your right hand. Do you swear for any testimony? <coughs> you both yes, Your Honor. Your, uh, your legal name, please. My name is Linda Boucher. All right, ma'am. What do you want me to tell me about Michael? Uh, yeah, Michael. Yes, Michael lost his dad a year and a half ago, and I'm a single mom of two boys, and since then he's been in therapy for uh, depress depression uh, with Dr. Hartman at the South Ment Mental Health in Palm Beach. He's also on uh, satanoprim, which is an antidepressant, and also on uh, Adderall, and uh, he has no prior record I'm just asking for to give him a chance. He have a prior record? He's a full-time student at Palm Beach State College, and he works. 
I'm going to place, him on, I'm going to place him on pretrial release, but he has to follow all of their conditions. That means he has to do a drug test. He has to pass these drug tests. He has to do everything they require. It's a condition of release. Not being possessed of any drugs or alcohol. If he can do all of that, I'll put him on pretrial release and they'll send him home. But if he violates well, the conditions of that, another judge can send him back to jail. Do you understand? Okay, I understand. And I have one more thing to ask you. Uh, we had planned this trip to Canada, me and the two boys, to see my, our family. And we're leaving on next Wednesday. I'm just asking if, if he has any, he won't have any court. Does he? Oh, Your Honor, I don't see. When's he going? When's he want? When's he want to go? We're away? going from July 22nd to August 11th. I, sh I strongly doubt we will not be filing charges between now and then. Okay. What are the conditions on pretrial release? Do you allow? Leave the tri-county area. Leave the tri-county area to pretrial release. Would he need a court order? Yes. What are the dates? Yeah, We're leaving July 22nd to August 11th to Canada. Okay, I'm going to sign the order. He's got to be back here on August 12th. Do you understand? 12th? You mean in the country? Yeah. Back in the county? In the oh, yeah, yeah. Of course he has to work. He has okay. to report now, and he has to report on August 12th. I'll sign an order letting him go on this vacation with you only because you seem like you're a nice person. Thank July you. 2nd to August 11th, no July further. July 27th. July 27th. 22nd. To August 11th. Yeah. I got it written down. I just can't see it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He's got one chance to straighten himself out. You're not going to find down the road that he's I, going to get this much relief. Do you understand? I think he'll learn you from that. Crime, yes. You don't get to go on vacation. That's the way it works. I know. I'm going to let him go only because it's going to ruin your vacation, not his. Good luck to you, ma'am. Stay Thank out of you. trouble, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ma'am. Gregory around. Ferguson. Give you an order. Yeah, my problem. Gregory, Gregory Ferguson. Awesome. You go sit down. Me? Oh, okay. All right, ma'am. Did you have a case? Gregory Ferguson, please. Gregory Ferguson? Yeah. Can you get Gregory Ferguson? It looks like maybe his mother is here. No, I'm his friend. He called me to come to court. All right. Kedra Bennett. Gregory Ferguson. Gregory Ferguson. Is that you? Yes, sir. President the main right. judge. You've got one of those serious charges, sir. You're charged with burglary of an occupied dwelling. Let me see what they said you did. Yeah, this is a serious charge, sir. We can hear you, Mr. Linder. I understand. I defender to represent you. Does he have a record, Mr. State Attorney? No, Your Honor. How long you lived in Broward County, sir? Um, seven years. All right, ma'am. I'll ask you to raise your right hand. You swear firm any testimony about to give me the truth, culture, not the truth. Like, yes. All right, you've been sitting here for a while, so you've heard what I said. I can't decide whether he did this or not. I will tell you I consider this to be a serious crime, uh, and there's probable cause to believe he may have committed this crime. And if you want to tell me anything you want me to know about conditions of release. Okay. Uh, my name is Kedra Bennett, and I'm a friend of um, Greg Ferguson. I know him for three years now, and he's not a trouble troublemaker. He stay out of trouble. He, he has a full-time job. Um, I don't know the situation why he he got arrested, but I guess after I leave here, I will know. Well, I'll tell you so you know so that you know exactly what's going on. Uh, a person who owned a house showed up at their house at approximately 6:30, 8, 18:30. Uh -huh. Found all their lights on and all of their doors locked. He went to the back of their house and found a window screen uh, detached. And the police were called, and they found this gentleman allegedly inside the house, attempting to burglarize the house. So oh. it's pretty uh, evident from this PC uh, that uh, he may well been inside because he was caught red-handed. Uh -huh. uh, so that's what he's been charged with: burglary inside a person's house. In my judgment, is a serious crime. You said he has no record. Yes, prior arrests, they were all dropped out of date, Your Honor. Do you, you, you ma'am, or other people have uh, available funds to make his bond? Um, how much is it? 
Bond's going to be $5,000. <laughs> I don't know how it worked. This is the first contact the bondsman, and you have to pay a percentage of that if you want to get him out, assuming that he can show back up in court. This is a serious crime, man. You can't break into people's houses. So I set the bond at five thousand dollars, and I wish you good luck. Find a bondsman, discuss it with him. You don't have to post the full amount as long as you have some way to uh, verify that he'll appear in court. Okay. Okay. All good right, ma'am. I thank you for coming to court. Thank you. Next, uh, Sandra Quinones. Ma'am, are you on a case back? Oh, you were on the same case. Good morning, ma'am. You're charged with a violation of probation or community control. There's probable cause to believe you committed the offense based on the warrant. You'll see your judge on July 21st. July 21st, there's no bond. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. How about Brittany Evans? Thanks, Serena and Sarah. Hey, do you still have the door? North Broward. Keep it brought up with her. All right, good morning, ma'am. You're charged with two cases, offering and agreeing to perform a lewd act and possession of PVP. PVP was failed tested positive, therefore it's probable cause drug on both of the offenses. In yes, count one, the bond is I'm going to reduce I that one to, well, I'm going to leave it in place then. The, the count one, the bond is $300. Hold on, hold on. Count hold two, on, the bond on, is $1,000. Okay. You'll have to post those bonds and see the judge, ma'am. Good luck to you. Michael Lee Parker. It is Chris Martin. Yes, Present at the main. Chris Martin. Good morning, Mr. Parker. You're charged with resisting yeah. arrest you're without violence, violence and a petty theft in the second degree first offense. Thank you. Do we have any record on him? Uh, one moment, Your Honor. I've got, he's not from around here, so I'll have to check to see. Out of uh, California, DUI from 2008. That's all I have, Your Honor. Just call her state. All right, sir. Do you work? Judge, Mr. Uh, Parker is self-employed. He actually does That's website it. development and marketing. Uh, he's been down here for about a week. He lives with his girlfriend, who does live down here. Um, judge, if you're not opposed, he'd like to go ahead and resolve this case if the court is so inclined. All right, I will uh, offer you uh, to resolve this case on the obstruction without violence. Do you have the ability to pay a fine, sir? Um, <clears throat> yes, sir, but I have to set it up somehow. All right. Uh, on the how much time do you think? On the resisting case, I'm going to uh, accept a plea of no contest and assess a fine in that case of $250. On the petty theft case, I'll assess a fine of $200. And since you're uh, time served, plus those fines, if you wish to resolve these cases, sir. All right. So one, 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 one moment, Judge. Cindy Parr might be able to get a break. Or someone else. Oh, that's a, yeah. Judge, can we get six months to pay? You can have six months to pay. You lost have to pay the court costs associated with this. Those fines will be $450. Plea of no, uh, no contest. Accept the plea of no contest. Hold adjudication. You but you will have to pay the court costs, which will be. You're out of here. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge. 293. Don't forget the court costs. So it's okay. four, four, uh, 750 all together. Okay. Off you go. You're done. Great. Good luck. All right. Uh, Spanish, Judge. Uh, you're on David Capone? No, he's uh, on Yes. We're going to call for Spanish on Capone. No. What I case think... are you here on, ma'am? Uh, my son, Saeed McKenzie. Very next case. He's the next one, Judge. Saeed, come on. Yeah, that works out. What about Capone? Spanish. Check his record. I am right now, Your Honor. Sir, you're charged with two cases resisting an officer, instruction without violence, and trespassing after warning. Let me read your PC. Admitting you're a gang member. A what? Refusing to leave when the officer told you to leave the park. Wouldn't provide personal information. And obstructing justice, okay. All right, sir. All you had to do was tell the police officer who you were, 
I find probable cause in both cases. Ma'am, uh, I'm going to swear you in. You swear for me testimony about to give me truth, all truth, number three. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, again, I'm not here to decide whether he did this or didn't do this. Yes, sir. I'm here to decide conditions of release. Yes. So anything you want to tell me in that regard? Judge is a good kid. He's doing his try his best to do everything that is right. He's telling the police officer he's a member of the gang. He's telling the police officer he's a member of the gang. I don't believe that. All right, go ahead, ma'am. He's a good kid. He's, he's, he's go to work. He's a, he's a manager at Burger King, and he's working. He's supposed to go to work today, and because of his inside the, uh, here, he cannot go to work. Does he have any record? And I wish he, he, don't, he, don't, he don't do not right. lose. Lose his What's on job. the paper isn't serious. I want to see what his serious what his crimes are. He's 19, but he has some serious juveniles. Serious juveniles. How, how old are you, sir? Sir. Nin 19, sir. Do you work? Yes, sir. Where do you work? I work at Burger King um, in Sawgrass. I've been there for two years since I was 17 years old. I don't know, sir. You seem like a clean cut person and you speak well. I don't know why you're not. Um, why you end up in jail? This is a simple thing, and now you get arrested for basically nonsense. Yes, Your Honor. You gotta cooperate with the police. They don't know who he is. Yeah, I know, Your Honor. Yes, That's yes, so, sir. It's so disturbing. I, I, all they night, don't know who he is. Uh, all night, night last night, I didn't sleep the whole night. I cried the whole night. I, they didn't get to go to work this morning. Well, what do you want to do, ma'am? Do you want to post a bond in this case? I already I'll ROR him, and he can answer to the county I, court. I, I already post a bond this morning. You posted the hundred dollars? Yes, yes, Your Honor. From eight o'clock this morning. All right. Well, he's posted the bond. Um, Mr. McKenzie, she said she posted the hundred dollar bond. Yes. So you'll be released. Okay. Okay. Thank you, yes, sir. Him. I'm not changing his bonds. I'm leaving it at a hundred dollars. Yes, sir. So that should go through any minute now, I guess. Assuming he doesn't have any other crimes, they'll release him. Yes. So you need to go over to the jail and find out on that. I don't know when they're going to release him. They have to do oh, a yeah. check once you post the bond to make I sure. I went you're over there already, and they told me that um, the bond was posted, but he has to come before the judge. All right. Well, I yes. didn't change his bond, so he should be released. Then the bond is a hundred dollars. Yes. Posted that. Yes, All I right. did, Your Honor. Thank you very much, him. sir. Thank you. Keep him out of trouble. Now. I try my best, sir. I try. You're all right. We're no, sir. Busy enough. Thank you very much. All right. Next case is uh, you're going to be released, sir. She's posted your bond. Justin Poe, P O E X. I don't know yet. Uh, good morning, Mr. Poe. You're charged with resisting an officer without violence and trespassing. This occurred at the Cheetah Lounge in Hollandale. Another incident where if you had just walked away, you wouldn't be in jail. He have a record? Your Honor, he, last year he had a resisting without violence and criminal mischief. He pled those charges out February 20th of this year. Uh, in Broward, the other most recent offense before that was uh, trespass 2010. He's uh, fighting with a police officer yeah. after the arrest. There's probable cause in both of your cases, sir. On the resisting, I'm increasing your bond to $500. On the trespassing, the bond is zero. Your total bond is $5,500. The condition of your release is you do not return to the Cheetah of Hollandale during the time this case is pending. Do you understand? Do you increase, increase the bond to $500? I am on the, on the uh, count one, not zero and count two. On Christopher Miller, please. Okay, off you go. Because Mr. Miller is present at the main, he is order, He is um, interested in resolving this case if the court is so inclined. Is this a municipal? No, this is a state, state charge. All right, you're charged with disorderly intoxication. It occurred at uh, 600 Northwest 27th Avenue. He doesn't tell me what's there. It's a, it's a gas station. There's probable cause in your so. case. I want to see if I can resolve your case, sir. He was trying to help him get his car out of the way. Yeah, he got out of control. Okay. 
Yeah, I wish they would have told me where the store was. Oh, Wait. The yes, yeah. Northwest 27. Yeah. What uh, kind of record was those? Most recent prior was a resisting without violence and trespass from last year, Judge. All right, sir, in your case, um, I'm going to uh, accept a plea of guilty to the charge of disorderly intoxication. And I will sentence you to time served with one proviso, if you wish to accept this, and that is you do not go back to 600 Northwest 27th Avenue and bother the customers at that location. You wish to do that? Well, one moment, Judge. Yes. Okay, Judge, he is willing pleaded. He would like to ask to go back one time that I believe his car is there. You go back and get your car, but you can't remain there after you get your car. You wish to do that? Yes, sir. Uh, except the plea of no contest to disorderly intoxication. Since your time served, you can go back one time to this address to get your car, but you'll remain away from that property, okay? No problem, sir. Thank, Thank you, Judge. I mean, I think the Judge. Thanks. Anthony? I'd be shocked if it's still there. <laughs> you think they're going to leave it there? <laughs> Anthony Acevedo? Main jail? Unfortunately, sir, you've got two violations of probation. There's probable cause based on the warrants. It says VOP to be set in the division, so I don't have a trial date for you, sir. This is Judge McHugh. You'll be held without bond. You'll see the judge next week, but I can't give you an exact date here, sir. All right? All right. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Ty Tyrone Salter. North Broward. Deshaun Lewis. North Broward, Your Honor. Well, with Grand yes. You got to slide on down. Try to go. Come on. Come on down. What's your name? What happened to him? I established the bond at oh, $1,000. Uh, I that bond to the judge, sir. I Good think luck. the judge called. Okay, so Thank you. Okay. How's it going? $1,000. Okay, no hold. Nope, you're next. Oh. He's got other no bond holds on other charges. Just yeah, no, I know. Uh, Deshaun Lewis, Grand Theft Auto. Main jam. Three charges with Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. You're next. Vehicle stolen out of the garden. You're found to be the driver. Place comes back stolen. Got some drugs here, but he didn't get charged with it. Your Honor, I think that's, um... Oh, he says the, opera, uh, the passenger had the... Uh, yeah, they were found in the passenger seat, so I think right, they're attributing that. Does he have any kind of... Uh, right? No, Your Honor. The bond is set at $1,000. He's going to go first. Post a bond to see the judge, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Dale, we have our status interpreter. How about David Cabone? Main jail judge? <laughs> Are you charged with, uh, can you help me, ma'am? Oh, ma'am, put your right hand. You swear for me testimony. You're trying to wait accurate for the case in English. I do. Patricia Gristo, certified court interpreter. Advise him he's charged with disorderly conduct. El señor se le acusa de conducta escandalosa. Eso es una mentira. That is a lie. Well, That's a crime. I did, I did not commit. I did not commit that crime. All right. Judge, at this time, I would ask the interpreter, please ask Mr. Pabon not to discuss his case. All right. Case Don't say anything tongue. about the crime, sir. Señor, el abogado y el señor juez dicen de que usted no debe hablar acerca de su caso. I'm not here to decide if you did it or not. Yo no estoy aquí para decidir si usted lo hizo o no. Yes, Your Honor. I'm checking your record. Today, about the Estoy mirando su expediente. Un momento. Okay, his priors include. Concerned about Mr. Pabon's Oh, I, yeah, I understand. 2012 battery, resisting without violence, disorderly conduct. Tiene 2012 agresión corporal, resistir sin violencia, conducta escandalosa, dice el fiscal. Solamente escuche. Disorderly intoxication, 06. 
All right. Uh, eh, I'm going to, uh, alteración del orden público por el viernes. I'm going to set his bond at $25, and I'm also going to order a uh, mental health screen on him based on what he's saying to the police at the scene. Hay 25 dólares de fianza, hallo de que hay motivo fundado para el arresto. Yes. Well, he may be. I'm going to order. No me puede dar tiempo servido. Can't you give me credit for time served? Sure. Uh, $25, and I'm ordering a mental health and a drug screen based on what you're saying at the scene. You're talking about people Señor, chasing you. Estoy ordenando una evaluación de salud mental y una detección de drogas basado en lo que usted estaba diciendo en el lugar de los hechos. All right, good luck to you, sir. Have a good buena, day. Buena suerte para usted, señor. No one else on Spanish, Mr. Miller? ¿Alguien más necesita no, los servicios de la intérprete de español? Thank you, Madam Chair. You're welcome, Your Honor. Gabriel F. U. F. U. Who bonded, Judge? Anthony? Mr. Miller. Catherine Anthony? Main jail, Judge. Judge, Mr. Anthony is uh, curious as to the date that the warrant issued. Do we have that information? The warrant was signed by the judge, 14th of July. 14. Judge Cohen signed Four. the warrant. Stand up straight. Thank you, Judge. For a BOP. And you'll you'll find out. A, oh, here we go. A lack of contact with the department, it appears, sir. Uh, you're, you're, held with, you're, you're held without bond. It's July like 21st at 9 30 is your hearing date. Contact with Sir, all I know is. The lack of contact with what? Sir, all I know is. What you the warrant. You failed to report. You Did that have contact with Erica Davenport on July 11th via telephone and in person as told by Emily Kaplan by Erica Davenport on July 13th? I only know what's on the warrant affidavit and signed by okay, a judge. Thank you, judge. I can't do much for you. You have to see the judge. Good luck. How about Rashad Payne? Payne Jail. He's declined the services of the public defender judge. I want to know when. Uh, Go ahead, Adam. Ask the judge whatever you want to ask. All right, Mr. Payne, you're charged with three counts of violation of probation and community control. There's probable cause based on the warrants. What did you want to ask me, sir? Uh, what, what date the, the, the warrant was issued? All right, if I can find that, I'll be happy to tell you. And what are the uh, violations for that? Did we take care of you before? Failing to Oh, you committed a criminal offense of resisting without violence on June 3rd, 2014. You violated a condition of probation by being in possession of cannabis, 20 grams or less. You committed a battery on June 3rd, 2014. The warrant was stamped July the 9th. I can't say the exact date, but it was stamped July the 9th, signed by Judge Haynes. Those are your three charges, sir. So there's no bond. You'll see the judge July the 20th, which I think is Monday, at 8.30. Good luck. Okay. What up? Anthony. Okay. Anthony. Uh, Anthony. Dermus. 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 Do you have him? Is he a medical reset again? Dearmas is a medical reset judge. Rogers is a has bonded. All right. Do you have other people there? Um, I do have a couple of people. Um, what's your name? Antonio Vergara. What? Antonio Vergara. Vergara, judge. I talked to Mr. Hecker this afternoon. Um, he understood that there uh, would be no uh, available bond for Mr. Vergara. Vergara? Vergara, yeah. Um, and um, he will see him in court. So he wanted to go ahead and, and go forward today without his see presence. Is he a um, Yeah. Yes, Judge. All right, Close. then I find probable cause yeah. in your case, sir. Um, you're held without bond, and I don't have your paperwork to tell you the exact date, but the lawyer will let you know to see the judge next week. Yeah, it's, it's on Monday. Okay, great. He told me Monday. Right, yeah, good okay. Good luck, judge. Who else do I Thanks. got? I have a Come David on. Archer and a Harry Brooks. Brooks this is Mr. Um, Archer, Judge. Right, part of this was the municipal. Okay, I'm going to be on here. 
This one is not very good here. Uh, you say you want to replace it. This is saying that Mr. Archer set up camp at the Square K liquor store and opened the bar. He wouldn't leave. He's been arrested five times in 2015 for trespassing. Yes. I'm not sure if I can resolve this case. In other words, I find probable cause on the trespass and I find probable cause in a municipal ordinance. I'm going to set his bond to $25 based on these charges. Okay. He posts the bond fine if he does it. This is, uh, this is so, about the sixth time at the same place. Sir, you are prohibited to go back from the, the circle, excuse me, the Square K liquor store at 4401 North Dixie should you make this bond. They don't want you back there. You've been arrested five times for being back there. They're saying you're camping out in the rear of the building. You are prohibited from going there if you make this bond. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck. Okay. Judge, we have one final. I have Kylo, and he has a second look reset from yesterday. It was a medical reset from right. yesterday, and I don't have the docket. Kylo. Anybody have Harry Lee Brooks? He's, if that's a med reset, Your Honor. Let me see what I have on second I thought I thought we resolved that yesterday, but I guess it was a med reset. Okay. Right. Kylo was a medical reset yesterday. Got Come it. On up, so let's see. Who you have is, what's his name again, Dale? Timothy Kylo. Mr. Kylo. And uh, Your Honor, the state had made um, an offer, a time served offer, to resolve the matter yet yesterday. Trespassing on structure. It has been in seven days. All right, sir. Um, you wish to resolve your case by me accepting a plea of no contest and sentence you to time served on the trespass charge. I'll accept it. All right, sir. You will be released. We will sign the paperwork. You will be released, and I will withhold adjudication on your case. Thank you, Judge. We're clear at the main. Thank you. Always a pleasure, sir. Good luck, sir. Thank you. We have some second looks here, but they must yep. be in other places. Uh, I've got Belanca Jacobs. That's a 30-day motion, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, the state has not yet filed an information. She is entitled to release at this time. If she call you next, Omar. All right. Do I have uh, Belancia Jacobs? All right. All right, Ms. Jacobs, temporarily good news for you. The state has not filed the charges. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance. That does not mean that the state will ultimately file charges and rearrest you, but right today we'll let you go, assuming you don't have any other charges. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Good luck. You too. How about LaShondra Seymour? This is a second look, Your Honor. Um, North Broward. It's for a Grand Theft Auto. The second look on a Grand Theft Auto and operating without a valid driver's license. First arrest was 77. Been in nine days. Her bond $2,000 right now. On the Grand Theft? Uh, she was given a $1,000 bond for Grand Theft, but $1,000 for operating a valid DL with the, no license with a, um, a stolen car. Man, um, you it's okay. Ma'am, do you have a house or an apartment you can reside? Yes, sir. I said Riverbend Apartments on Las Vegas Boulevard. Okay. How long you been there? Uh, approximately four years. Um, says with the court, I mean, she's been in custody so long with the court release or pre-trial release. Who do you live with, ma'am? My great uncle. How long you lived in Broward County? Uh, I've been in Broward since I was two. How long? Two years old. I've been here for about uh, since I'm 17, 17 years. And you work? No, sir. I'm currently in school. Does she have a record? Yes, Judge. 2011 aggravated battery, great bodily harm. The case resolved. Yes, yeah, she was placed on 18 months probation. I, I didn't hear a violation to the level one and level two on the monitors. Level two, two. Sorry. Schedule. Level, level one is locked down in the house. She can go to doctor's appointments. Level two, they give them a uh, pre-trial would uh, work with her on a schedule. She cannot deviate from that schedule or she'll be in violation. Yeah, I'll put her on a GPS, too, and put her on pre-trial release. Thank you, Judge. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, uh, the judge is inclined to release you pre-trial release with an ankle monitor, okay? 
You have to follow the conditions of wearing that ankle monitor. You can't go anywhere or do anything other than what they say, or we will bring you back, ma'am. Do you understand? Um, approximately how long will I be on that ankle monitor? Well, until your case gets resolved by the judge. Okay, not a problem. Good luck. No. No. Thank no. you. <laughs> how about, who else was there in the room with Paul Ryan? Is there another person there that I haven't called at Paul Ryan? Yes, it is. Two more. Come here first. What are their names? Cunningham. Geralina Cunningham? This is also a yeah. second look, yeah. Judge. Thank you. Yeah, Your Honor, she, um, she has a lengthier record. A lengthy record? Lengthier. What is it? Theft last year, possession of cocaine 2013 with the VOP, unlawful use of false name ID 2012, Unlawful use of false name ID 2012, 2006 possession of cocaine, marijuana with the what violation. Are bonds, are bonds the same? I'm checking that right now. Her bond's a thousand dollars. I'm not disturbing her bond based on the charges. All right, your bonds will remain the same, ma'am. Good luck to you. Anybody else at North Broward? Deputy? Good, your honor. North Broward's good. Lost one. Lost Spring? Uh, all right. What's Sherry. your name, ma'am? Sherry Loftspring, S H A R I L O F T S P R I N G. It's the last. Loftspring. It's the last felony. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, Judge, this is the second look. Her bond was originally set at sixty-five hundred dollars. The reason being is, and she was also, Your Honor, she, she signed a SAP order. Um, or she agreed, or wa uh, told Judge Shirley she wanted SAP. The reason he set her bond where he did was because of her uh, criminal record. 2013, possession of cocaine, paraphernalia, loitering and prowling. 2011, possession of cocaine, resisting with violence and drug paraphernalia. 2011, possession of cocaine, drug paraphernalia. 2010, possession of cocaine, drug paraphernalia with the All BOP. Right. Thank you, Counsel. Ma'am, I'm not inclined to I have eight. May, may I say I have eight broken breasts? I have eight broken breasts, five in the front, three in the back. Judge, what the, judge, uh, judge, what the court, what the, she has no violent priors. It seems that uh, the cocaine possession, so she's not out there selling or dealing. I mean, for somebody with a nonviolent, and, and she's actually going into one in the jail. She's. She, Are you in SAP? I am in SAP, yes, sir. Okay. Judge, would the court release it a pretrial release after completion of SAP? Would that would that be? It's, 30 it's days. Your Honor, it's 30 days. We would just ask there's plenty of time to get her in front of her assigned judge. Okay. I um, have eight broken breasts also. She'll be here to visit by then. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know what, ma'am? Are you asking correct? for us to have a doctor look at you? Is that what you're asking for? Pardon me? Are you asking me to have a doctor look at you or to see a doctor? Um, while I'm in jail, I'd like to see somebody. Yes, sir. I'm in a All lot right. of pain. I'll write an order for you to see a medical physician. Okay. The second look is resulting in you finish the drug program, and I'll reset your case yes. in 30 days, and we'll see where you are. You need to get some yes. help, ma'am. Your record is replete with yes. drug issues. Okay? Yes, sir. All right, get Will I be released you. after? The only yes, way sir. You're Will it I be released? Will I be released after 30 days completion? Ma'am, ma'am, we will file a motion matter. to release you on the 33rd day. You need to finish that program and not worry about anything else. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to uh, order a doctor to see you and we'll give that copy to the jail that will get you a medical exam. Yes, sir. All right, good luck, ma'am. Have a good day. Okay. Your Honor? Yes? Uh, Conti has two guys. Conti? Last two cases. Conti has two. All right, well, we were all leaving. <laughs> next case is Omar Payret, Your Honor. Is the Omar next what? Payret. Yeah, Your Honor, this is a 30-day motion. I provided the court with a copy of the Register of Actions from Odyssey. Uh, same case number showing that the state filed an information. All right, sir, the state filed an information on you. That means the charges have been officially filed. Uh, what ha is he going to be magistrated now? No, he's already been magistrated. He's just, he'll have an arraignment scheduled. All right, they'll schedule judgment an arraignment and advise you of a trial date, sir. All right? Okay, thank you. Good luck to you, wow, sir. Wow, you're all right. You got one more, sir? What's your name, sir? Chad Stang. Oh, yeah, Chad. Okay. This is a second look on a DUI, Driving judge. Driving under the influence. 
Five days. He was arrested 712. What was his bond? Judge Levy said his bond at five thousand dollars and this the first offense that I'm I'm checking to see if I can find any um Patrice, do you still have notes on this? Do you work, sir? Yes, I came down here uh, a couple weeks ago for to work at Vanya Air Services. I have own a house with my wife up in Atlanta. She's staging it to sell. They're moving down once we get the house sold. Um, and I, I've been in aviation for 27 years, sir. It's just I don't know anybody here that would sign my bond papers. I even have the money here, you know, in my account to be able to to post a hundred dollars. Judge, would, have would the court possibly do it to the nonviolent nature of the offense? The, and he, he seems that he came down here on employment. Do you have an address down here, sir? Yeah, that's... Yes, it's... Uh, well, and you're on Judge Levy's concern. I, I understand, but he says he has an address. I, I understand. I'm just... Uh, Well, the address. I'm sorry. Honestly, you're beyond this issue with your wife. You may not want her to know about this, but if they can't verify uh, someplace permanent for you, I can't place you on pretrial release. So you're in a quandary here. I can reduce your bond, which I will, uh, and you can post the bond, or I'll place you on pretrial release, but they've got to verify an address, and the only way really they do that is through loved ones. So you're kind of... Well, right. It was, on, it, was, it was on my... Ad my address was on my uh, license. 81 sir, 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 you're not listening to me. I said verify. That means we call somebody and we find out. We can't go by what's on people's paperwork. But people lie if you haven't figured that out. I'm not saying you are, but people do. But we've got to verify okay. it with an actual person. Okay, do, do you want that? Mm -hmm. So we couldn't go by what's on his paperwork. No, what's your address, sir? It's 81. My home address or down here? Hey, Marge. Down here. It's 4665 Southwest 30, 33rd Avenue, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33312. What's at that address? What's that? That apartment? Who lives there? There's just there's two other people, a man and a woman that live there. I'm just subletting the room. That doesn't work. I can't verify that. That's not going to help you. Okay, well, I mean, uh, the other thing I can do is give you the home phone number of my where my wife is and the house is in Georgia. That's it. We can't verify in Georgia. Well, who's going to help bond you out? The judge is willing to, he's not going to release your pretrial release, but who's going to help bond you out? I don't want to. I have to think. I have to figure gonna, something would, out. I'm going to reduce your bond. Uh, okay. But if you don't find somebody to post this bond, there's nobody that's going to help you. You've got an out-of-state address. You're in a quandary here. You're going to have to find somebody to help you post this bond or get a bondsman and pay the percentage of the bond that you've got to pay to get out of jail. Otherwise, you're just going to sit there. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, yes, yes sir. Say he has a second offense, and he has a second offense in Georgia. This is his first offense in Florida. This is the only thing we have on him. Yes, this would be his second DUI, first in Florida. I'm reducing your bond because you have a second DUI. I'll reduce your bond to $1,000. You're going to have to post. Actually, you're going to have to your Honor, his, his bond's $500 right bond's now. Bond's 500 $65. No, that was the other. That was the uh, woman that was before him. Oh, his bond's only $500? Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm not changing your bond, sir. I'm sorry. Not on a DUI. You're going to have to find a way to get someone to post that $500. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. Anybody else? Have we done What it? happened to Omar Pirate? Who did it? Was that? It was Where'd Mr. Miller go? Is he done? I think he's, uh, he, he.